The Charcot Marie Tooth CMT disease is a group of rare genetic disorders that affect the motor and sensory peripheral nerves. CMT disease results in muscle weakness and atrophy alongside sensory loss. Epidemiology. CMT, an eponym of the physicians who first described it in 1886, is the most common inherited neuromuscular disorder, affecting one in 2,500 people. In the UK, at least 25,000 people are thought to have CMT, which is frequently undiagnosed, misdiagnosed, or diagnosed later in life. Signs and symptoms. Symptoms of CMT usually begin gradually, sometime between adolescence and middle age, but can appear in early childhood. The disease is slowly progressive and variable, but in almost all cases, the longest nerve fibers are affected first. Over time, affected individuals may lose the normal use of their feet, hands, legs and arms. Some patients have effects in all the nerves, not just upper and lower limbs. CMT patients may live a normal lifespan, remaining active despite having symptoms including decreased sensitivity to heat, touch or pain, muscle weakness in the hand, foot or lower leg, reduced fine motor skills, high stepped gait, loss of muscle mass in the lower leg, frequent tripping or falling, hammer toe, high foot arch and flat feet. Stretch reflexes may also be lost. In very severe cases, breathing difficulties can hasten death. CMT facts. Although not life-threatening, evidence from one study showed a reduced life expectancy in patients diagnosed with CMT. It comes in many forms, some of which are much more severe than others. It can affect people very differently, even within the same family. It is no predilection for a particular race or sex. Pathogenesis Autosomal dominant inheritance is the most common mode of inheritance for CMT, which means that if one parent carries the gene, there is a 50% chance for each child to be affected. Autosomal recessive and X-linked forms of CMT have also been identified. Over 100 genes are known to lead to CMT disease, and more are being discovered. CMT mutations may arise de novo, meaning there may be no previous family history of the disease. CMT disease is subdivided into several types, termed CMT1, CMT2, CMT3, CMT4 and CMTX. Within each type are several subtypes. Most autosomal dominant forms are CMT type 1, with CMT1A being the most common subtype and CMTX1 the second most common. Diagnosis. The diagnosis of CMT can be challenging and is based on physical symptoms, family history and clinical tests. Clinical tests include nerve conduction velocity, NCV, measuring the speed of impulses along the nerves, and electromyogram, EMG, which records the electrical activity of muscle cells. Molecular genetic testing is available for various CMT subtypes. Individuals and families affected by CMT need to understand the relevant inheritance pattern and the implications of CMT as a genetic disease to be able to make informed medical and reproductive choices. Standard treatment and management. Treatment of CMT is palliative and supportive. Currently there are no pharmacological treatments available to slow or reverse the disease, although there are a number of therapies in clinical trials. It is important, however, to minimize or slow the symptoms. Treatments include physical therapy, shoe orthotics, leg braces and surgery to correct deformities. Analgesics can be offered for non-neuropathic and neuropathic pain relief. Neurotoxic drugs should be avoided during treatment as these may exacerbate the condition and have previously been responsible for precipitating an acute neuropathy in patients with unrecognized CMT. Podiatry assessment. CMT may be detectable with nerve conduction studies before symptoms become apparent. When symptoms start, they can be subtle and mimic other conditions. CMT must be considered as a potential cause for unexplained neurological symptoms. Family history should always be considered, but remember that sometimes CMT can occur de novo. In the early stages, CMT may cause 
pest cavus, with or without clawed or retracted toes, similar to the pattern seen in diabetes and for similar reasons. A decrease in proprioception, increasing the risk of falls. Clawing of the toes. Muscle strength is reduced in the lower legs, normally affecting the intrinsic foot muscles, peroneals and foot dorsiflexors earlier and more profoundly than the plantar flexors. This can lead to foot drop and fixed plantar flexion deformities of the ankle. CMT causes sensory neuropathy, for example pain. In the later stages, CMT may increase the risk of plantar ulceration. This is commonly on the plantar metatarsal area, due to plantar flexion deformities. Management The podiatric management of CMT mostly involves managing the sequelae of neuropathy. Stretches and strengthening exercises can be used to try to limit the progression of deformity and maintain function as long as possible. In mobile foot drop, orthoses may be used with elastic foot dorsiflexion devices to manage forefoot pressures. If patients progress to rigid AFOs, they often require debridement of callus and management of retracted digits and peak pressures under the met heads. Patients may all require monitoring and management of sensory neuropathy, similar to people with diabetes. Podiatric intervention may also be necessary to manage foot ulcers. Whilst the effects of CMT are far-reaching, podiatrists are on the front line of managing this complex and challenging condition.